Good afternoon and welcome back. So, um, I figured out what caused my performance issues. And it's this IV generator here. And one of the things I haven't done before, but things I should do at some point is use the is it, merge actor feature here, which will combine this um, static mesh component into one mesh. I'm not quite sure if it works with this blueprint here, but let's just try it. It's merge actors. And let's see if that works. Okay. This looks looks good, but it's really horrible. Triangle count, wording, vertices count, and stuff like that. So let's change that. Um, let's go here. <sighs> Sorry about that. So let's change this to would that be foliage? Okay, did the distances, they worked, but didn't do the reduction. So let's reduce those to 50%. You know, LD1, 50%. Um, the only thing that's kind of broken at some point is the screen size. Something I'm not sure why this happens, but I can do that by hand. So if I'm clicking those... <sighs> Sorry about that. I can fix those screen sizes. So this should if this is one so if we are standing right in front of it we do have LOD zero and as soon as we go back a bit, we are LD1.
this should be point seven five. Okay, this should work. And I can also change another thing. Um, let's see. Let's see if it is normal. Shading is normal. I think at this we don't need this to be normal anymore. I think that's okay. Let's save this. And I should be able to put this here. Problem is that the pivot is not in the same spot, which could cause problems. Let's see. Um, here we go. So this was blueprint three. Let's move it to plants. And in what level are we? We are on the persistent level. And those are not. System level. And the thing is, it doesn't really matter um, because, to be honest, I want to have some things in. Um, now let's let's move that to the town level and have a lot of additional stuff um in the town level that we
can load in if we need it. But only then, and otherwise it's unloaded. And I have my market goods um, level here for those pickups and other stuff that I will add here at some point. Um, so there will be stuff that I will add. Not quite sure if I really want those plants to be there. To be honest, they don't really serve a purpose. Let's remove those. I mean, they look nice, but not in that area. Don't need them there. And let's see. Okay, do have no light here, so let's take this to unlit. And I think I will remove those here because I'm not quite happy with how they look. So let's let's take all these and remove them. They were here to cover up um, issues that I had with um, some of the meshes. So it's so let's see. I need the persistent level, and it crashed. Damn it. Okay, let's restart. Let's hope this is restarting properly. But I think it is. Otherwise, we can just start this again, but. Check my tasks. Uh, no, it's not restarting. So let's start this. And it was restarting in the background. Okay. Damn it. Now it's starting twice. Close one of those. Okay. Only one editor open. That's good. Okay. Let's see. This is still in here. I 
I didn't do much. So it should be fine. Let's delete all the plants here. Let's save everything. Okay, now I need to check if this area here is done. Yeah, this area is okay. All the basement stuff here. I'm still missing a um, few models, so I can't finalize this one and this one here yet. But I can take this, this warehouse, and can finalize this. Okay. Smizzy. Let's move that to the Smizzy. Okay. Let's take this house. can use this convert function here from the instance tool and convert the whole house to um, to static meshes. At the moment it's built out of instant static meshes but I can change that. So let's do this. And now we have all these static meshes here that I can take and combine. those. Do I want this world origin? Mm, not sure. Because at the moment we still have the blueprint starting thing, so we could just combine this and see if that works. So merge this, this is models, houses, and let's call this warehouse. And now we have this thing here as one mesh and we can add LODs to it, which is really nice. So I can take the Warehouse, yeah, this 
to my house. First, let's move that. To the shops here. And move this to that warehouse. And this one we can hide or I think we can delete it. Because it's no longer needed. Okay, and I can take this and create LODs for it. Quite sure why this is so shiny, but it's not. It doesn't look like that in the level, so it's it's okay. Um, let's see. This is level architecture. And the screen sizes I need to change again. Because only when the screen size is one, basically, we need the LOD one. And those jumps are a bit too much. Let's fix those. So one Let's give this a factor of ten. Let's see what it looks. Yeah, I need to fix the sections here. Let's see. Not the one. Um, let's see. Why is this so white?
definitely one thing that changed. I think it's LOD2 that had an issue as well. Yeah, this changed to The wood is changed to stone. Okay. Not the right one. Yeah, there we go. And this should be stone. Now this should be plaster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay for the distance. So it's it still has the right color basically for the biggest part that we can see. And let's move that to a persistent level. And let's go up here and see if we can see this in town. Most of the town should be gone. Yeah, we can see it. It's there. And. That's in here. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, that's, that's not... As some way to get profiler in game, but I'm not quite sure where that is. here no but we have them here so that's okay -ish. okay um let's see looks like it doesn't drop below um, below 30 anymore at least not all over the place so that's one thing that's a lot better now Ideal would be absolutely no drop, but not quite sure if I can manage that. So let's change a few things here. Um, I want to move the houses back into the persistent world. Persistent level, because it's just Um, yeah, I need them there, basically. The villagers 
should stay in the town level. But the houses should be in the other level so that if I'm walking around looking down to the town then I will see the houses. So if I'm up here should be able to see the houses. The moment most of them are gone. I mean, I could remove the um, level streaming aspect, but there are a few things that I only want to have streamed in when I'm in that area. But the houses, like I said, should be um, part of the persistent world. Every smaller things like the the lamps and the AI should only be there if I'm really inside of the town or next to the town. So I think that's okay. And the AI only um, needs to be there if I'm next to the town. Just this. Oh yeah, this is stuff that can be loaded when I'm in town. It's not. Thus I need to change. I'm not happy with them, but for the moment I think I will just move them over as well. Come on. The shrine. Be visible. I think that's all of the town. So let's see. Should be able to see the town here, but it shouldn't be loaded completely. Yeah. But if we go here should load in the rest. Okay, that's the wrong audio file there. Okay, the map. 
actually doesn't have anything to say. But if you buy stuff, then... Should work. And I definitely need to figure out a better way to get my characters in here. soon. Otherwise the system is completely broken. I think it's completely broken. Damn it. I mean, she found her way. Let's see if the guard is there. Yeah, the guard is standing at the gate. So it should work. Maybe I just didn't set the times correctly. Strange. The hell? Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to fix the and fix the collision. This broke. Yep. For some reason we can't get up there, so let's... Let's take this. And delete it. And let's create another one. I think this doesn't... Yeah, no, this doesn't work. I need to... F I need to set up the... the stairs with a proper collision mesh. I think that's the problem that is in the level at the moment, that the stairs do not work. Uh, 
Oh, and ah, damn it. See something else. Should have fixed. Let's save this and see. Shouldn't have deleted this blueprint here. Oh, it does work. Can walk up there. But I need to check why my villagers are not working. Just set to movable. This is all set up correctly. Home location is set up. Hmm. Oh, that's what the problem is. They need to be in the town. Never. Because otherwise they don't find them. They cannot walk around. Okay. I hope that's it, but it should be. Is that floating? Isn't it good? Okay, there they go. Okay, that's fixed now. I think I need to rebuild those houses here because I changed something on the base meshes and the result you can see here that I either need to no no let's repair those by hand and then convert them so let's go here and fix this house Uh, no, damn it. I hate it when the pivot is not in the right rotation and this lines up correctly. Yeah, no. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, I need to fix them otherwise. Um, yeah, I think I will rebuild those. But I think I will use a different system for that. Because I'm trying to figure out a better way to do those. That I don't need to kind of type in the data for each element, <laughs> but that I'm kind of loading in the data from data table. Change this to local space somehow. So I need to change that. Change this to five.
Okay. Box. The biggest problem at the moment is that I'm using different textures here, but I can change that if I want to. It's easy to change. Um, let's fix those. The ceiling and floor pieces are not the same. It's kind of the problem, but it's basically just the texture that's different. Things here do have um, double sided, um, complete, complete uh, box, and in here it's just just a plane. And the ceiling is different, like I said earlier. So let's fly over here and fix those.
let's go to snapping off 10 should be a bit faster Oh no, needs to be five. Okay. Let's do it here. Oh no, now twenty five, which would have been awesome. Okay. That's better. So it's nearly done with that. And then I can convert those into static meshes and give them LODs to optimize everything. Though I might change this one here because it does have a completely different look. Yeah, I might change this and those three here to my um, blueprint. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's see. 
different. Buildings. This is L. That it's Townhouse Seven. Houses. Oh, I'm in the wrong level. Uh, let's change this. Let's first move it here. Turn on seven. So this has a ceiling, exterior walls, north, outside corner, and let's give this windows, both. Well, no, let's change one of them to a door. No, it's yeah, let's add the door to the next wall. Let's remove this here. Let's make this a window again. was red but the the rest was okay so let's see uh, what do we need here do I give this yeah let's give it a light blue why not doesn't really matter but bit of a difference there And let's give it an interior wall in south. Nope, it's E 
least. Let's create some kind of a small foyer area. Okay, this one already has this configuration, but it's okay. Oh, I noticed another thing. All those houses don't have windows. So I might need to redo them anyway, so it's okay. I think I'll just take this and copy it over to the other spots. Um, then change the wall configurations. Yeah, that works. Um, let's get the basement data. Oh, and here I saw something that I need to change. It needs to be slightly higher so let's change that blueprint data floors stairs and let's break this scale and let's split this and this let's attend to that value there fixed the gap we had in this so that now it should be fine okay to the roof Yeah, I think I will replace all of those. Just because the the windows are filled in properly and they will have the same same floors, same ceilings. I think that's better. Hmm. <sighs> 
Sorry about that. So this is one ball in North and yeah, that's a window here. to this one. And our roof data will be a site. And we need basement data, which is also just a site. So the only thing I need to change between those houses would be the interior data and the exterior data. For those would be the same. So that's fine there. Um, this is south, one wall. And yeah don't need a window there because it's looking at the other house basically. Ouch. And I need this in west. One wall and this is door which means I need to change the, the data here for element one. So this needs interior data and east one wall and a door. Okay. And I need to fill all the houses with furniture and stuff like that at a later point in time. But at the moment, I'm just concerned about the basic structure and that my villagers can go back in there and come out again. Even though I still need to add doors to those, but I think that's the next step after that, adding doors so that you can't just barge into every house you want to. At least, as long as you don't have the key. or some kind of um, lock pick or something like that. I'm not quite sure if I will add this back in. At some point I had a lock pick in the game, but not sure if it was in this version or if it was the Unity version.
Oh yeah, this is definitely need to change that. This is still two different actors, and want this combined into one. Um, I will be right back to take a small break. Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, like I said, I will replace those houses, but what I can do with this house now is go here and convert all those instances. And now they're all static mesh actors. And I can merge those together, not replace the source sector. Oh no, let's do that here. Let's replace the source sector. Um, and move that into my houses. a proper name oh and that sadly broke the coloring of the the roof so I need to fix that yeah because this was a dynamic material that's why this broke um, get the Let's see what do I want for this blue let's take blue Yeah, the rest should be fine. Uh, 
let's save that. And let's also create a few instances here. A few LODs, I mean. And let's change those distances. Fix those arrows here. Um, the it's wrong here. This is supposed to be stone. Why did it broke there? Okay, it does look good on this. Breaks here. Is it the metal that's set there? Yeah, that's the metal. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. It's just the basic colors need to be in the right spots and the rest is doesn't matter that much. Okay, now all the colors are correct again. So we have high quality here and then should still be able to see it from distance, which is okay. So, nice. Okay. Let's take this. Now that's townhouse. This is residential houses. Need that. And let's take our townhouse seven blueprint thing and put it. Move it here. And 
let's fix the walls. Oh, they said just a small entrance area there, and the rest is big one big room. Okay, so let's change that. And this would be element one. And element zero. That would be one one south. And this would be corner. So the townhouse eight I can delete. And this roof I can delete. Take this and go here. Convert all those. Source actors. Now we just need to fix the materials here for the roof and this head. Orange roof. Not quite sure why the screen sizes are so strange here, but 
maybe needs to be something different. Small props, maybe. No, this is no. So I need to set them by hand. It's okay. So this needs to be one. This is point five. Zero five. Dock that down there. Okay. Move that. Up here. Yeah, they lose a bit of fine detail, but that's okay. The important thing is that the colors overall are still the same. See them from in there. Let's go up here. Yeah, you can see that there's a house, and as soon as the sun gets up, I should also see the colors. And the performance should should be better as a result. Yeah, okay, now I can see the colors. Still blue. Yeah, next to that. I'm not quite sure if I see the right house there, but it's okay. Like I said, it's basically just see colors, blots in the distance, and at a performance, it's still okay. I mean, it's not the best, I'd like more, but 
yeah, it's get more when nothing is there, but I still want this to be loaded so I can see it in the distance. Different room set up. Corridor and two rooms. Okay. Oh, and I need to. F ah, damn it! I forgot to fix the windows here. Okay, but I need to look for the right windows here. Only if windows where it makes sense. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to do? I think that's the only thing I can do at the moment, is just go round and create static mesh for each of these houses, give it the proper settings here for the distance, proper LODs, and then I think that's mostly what I need to do with those. So. Um, I might stop the stream here because I just noticed that I need to do something else this afternoon and it's quite important and I will be back on Thursday and I will continue working on this on the um, once I have done my chores that I need to do and uh, also might work on this a bit tomorrow so yeah we'll definitely continue this and hopefully it will be um, helping with performance when all of them have proper LODs and are set up correctly. So, see you then. Bye-bye.